Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, some of the best practices that we need to keep in mind whenever we are working with the model view controller design pattern. So in the last video, we had a kind of discussion that what our model do, what our, um, you know, uh, the view does and what the uh, controller does. So the controller is basically a servlet, right? And the controller is kind of a mediator between the view and the model because the model and the view doesn't know each other, right? So the controller does the work for them. The controller gets the request from the view and it just uh, talk to the model if in case of any data required, isn't it? So inside our controller subject, we're all, always going to write this much of code, right? Uh, our controller is going to talk to the model, get the data from the model, and also it is going to send this particular data to the appropriate JSP page. And also inside our controller, we can write the business logic. So if our web application has any business logic, we can write it inside our controller. So don't dump any data, any UI data specifically inside your controller. So we are not going to write any out.println code anymore inside our controller servlet. So our servlet is specifically dedicated to our business logic and inside our servlet, we also we are also going to write the code for talking to a model and talking to a view. I mean, get the data from the model and send it to our JSP page or HTML page. I mean. All right, so now let's talk about our view. So what our view is going to do. So inside our view, we are only going to write the, uh, you know, the UI code. Right, you know your view is going to be a JSP page or a HTML page, and you know why the HTML page or a JSP page is used for. And whatever the data that we are receiving from the controller, we can process those data and we can you know present those data in a beautiful way by using this uh, web technologies like HTML, CSS, and all these things. So we're going to write those code, those UI code inside the view or inside your JSP page. So no more large scriptlet code inside your JSP. We're not going to write Java code in, inside the JSP anymore, right? So don't unnecessarily put the Java code or the business logic inside your JSP and don't write, uh, you know, the large scriptlet code inside your JSP page, right? So your view is going to specifically dedicated for the UI part and you know what the end user is going to see just put those things inside your view page or in your JSP page. But what about the model? So as I said to you before the model is going to be your database or a file system or a list which contains data or which stores data. So we can write a simple class and we can write few methods inside that particular class uh, to talk to the database or to talk to a file system or to talk to a list to get the data and paste the data from that particular list or database, right? So we're going to see everything about it uh, whenever we are getting into the code. So this is what uh, we want. I want to differentiate between uh, the uh, model and the view and the controller. Uh, you should know the business logic should goes to the uh, controller. And if you talk about the view, you are only going to write the, you know, the UI part or the UI code right there inside the view. So whatever we have discussed yet, you might have uh, already understood that what we are doing inside the MVC design pattern. We're not going to do anything fancy here. Everything we are doing over here, we're just organizing the thing. We're just organizing our code. We're organizing our UI code inside a separate file, which is our JSP file. We are putting the business logic inside a separate file, which is the servlet uh, file, or you can say it's, a, it's gonna be a servlet class. And you know, uh, for, for the model, we are going to uh, write a simple different class here, which is gonna get the data from the model. So we're just separating the database code, the business code, and the UI code separately from separate, separate file. So here the thing is, we are just organizing our code. So model view controller is, is not something fancy, it's just a design pattern, just to organize the thing in a simpler way. So before I wrap up this video, uh, one thing or one question that I want to answer uh, might be you're thinking about it, that why we're creating three different files? Why we're creating uh, a file for UI? Why, why we're creating a file 
uh, for create, talking to a database and why we are creating a different class or a different file for uh, writing the business logic. Why don't, why don't we write everything into a single file or why don't we uh, put our JDBC code, our servlet code, our JSP code inside a single file, okay? So what's the, what's the problem with it? So the problem is, just, just think like I have a company, okay? And I want to develop a website, all right? So I have uh, hired two guys, one UI developer and a Java programmer. The Java programmer is going to write my business logic and the UI developer is going to, uh, you know, uh, going to create the UI part of my website, okay? So let's say they all are going to write everything into a single file. Then what is the problem? If the UI guy has not completed his task or, or the UI guy is still writing the code for the UI part of my website, then the programmer or the other, other developer who is there to write the business logic, he is going to sit silently. So you see where is the problem? So when he is doing the work, he is going to sit because they all are working in, in a single file. All right, so now let's talk about another problem, okay? Just, just think that this both guy has uh, done with the development and they, they have hand, handed me over the website and they you know, left my company, okay? So after one year, I wanted to change the look of my website, okay? So I have hired few new developers again and I told them that I want to change uh, the look of my website. So the UI part need to be changed. Now these people is going to look for the particular uh, code which has been already written by, the, by, by those people, isn't it? Now the problem is it is very difficult for them to find out the code which has been specifically written for the UI because my Java code, my UI code and my JDBC code all got mixed up already. So it will be very difficult to find out the UI code from all three of them, isn't it? So th these are few problems that uh, we might face if we are not uh, going with the MVC design pattern. All right. All right. So this is what I want to discuss uh, about the best practices and what you need to keep in mind whenever you are working with the MVC design pattern. Okay. So now let's get into the coding part and let's try to get an overview of the project that we are going to create.